Fair use and content disclaimer. The views and opinions expressed by the host do not necessarily reflect that of the Psychological Association of the Philippines and its management. Furthermore, the views and opinions expressed by the guests do not necessarily reflect that of the host, the show, and the organization. Fair use is the copyright regulation that allows the limited use of copyrighted materials without acquiring permission from the right holders for comment and educational purposes. Views articles, and images on this episode may contain copyrighted material which has not always been specifically authorized by the copyright owner. This is being broadcasted to the Teaching Psychology Special Interest Group social media platforms when available. If you have any questions for our guests, simply comment on this video and we will try to accommodate all your inquiries. Note that after this broadcast, we may no longer be able to answer your questions. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Live from the Philippines, Dr. Ver Reyes and Professor Monique Muyargas, Chairperson and Co-Chairperson of the Teaching Psychology SIG. <laughs> Hey, hello. Oy, may pa background ako ngayon kasi Oh, <laughs> nga. Ang galing. Kaya na 'yan ng pa-background. So maraming maraming salamat to everyone who joined us for today. Good afternoon. It's a beautiful Wednesday afternoon. Although kanina parang umuulan-ulan kanina. Eh. So, mm. Alam kung ano yung nangyayari sa atin. So kumusta ka naman, Muni? Ah, uh, eto, mainit dito sa Iloilo. It's kind of humid. Kayo dyan, sa okay. Marikina. Okay, umuulan. Pero parang oh. tumigil na siya ngayon. So hopefully, um, it will remain a very beautiful day for this yes. afternoon. Oo. Kasi, so, season 2 na tayo. Correct. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> Pinaggagawa natin. Okay. <laughs> So, maraming maraming salamat for everyone who's um, watching us uh, right mm-hmm. now. We have uh, si Mylene, ay tama ba spe- ang basa ko? Mylene uh, Benedicto Garcia, good afternoon sa inyong lahat. Uh, maraming maraming salamat ulit. Um, we will have a different, um, hindi naman different format, but we will mm-hmm. have different shows, webisodes for this after uh, for the whole month of July for season two. Ayan. Yes. Oo. So, I'm pretty sure excited na yung ating mga viewers. So, pakitaan muna natin sila. Meron tayong mga guide questions. Ganyan. Ayun. Oo. Sige. Mag-start. Oo. Kasi, yung una nating tanong sa kanila, at comment down below ha. Ay, comment mm-hmm. below. Hindi pala comment down below. Comment below. <laughs> what were the challenges ba uh, that you faced as you teach or as I teach Uh, cognitive psychology. Karamihan naman yung mga nanonood sa atin. Um, for this episode, particularly in cognitive psychology, ano ba yung kailang mga um, challenges na na-face nila? So, yeah. we would just like to remind everyone that um, may konting delay tayo ng mga 20 seconds live. no? So, mm-hmm. Just in case, hindi namin makuha yung sagot. Pero, you can type your answers below. Ano ba yung mga challenges ng mga cognitive psychology teachers na kinakaharap natin ngayon? 
Yeah. Ayan. So habang hinihintay natin yung kanilang mga sagot, um, ano pa ba yung pwede natin i-expect, Monique, ngayong uh, season 2? Ah... Uh, okay. Patansya, hindi ko. Ayun. Uh, marami tayong ano, in store. I think we have more uh, webisodes uh, for season 2 compared to season 1. So I think that's a good thing. Uh, we wouldn't have uh, pursued our season 2 if uh, not for the demand of our uh, audience. Diba? Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat sa uh, pagsubaybay, no? Every week, parang busy sila dahil sa teaching psychology SIG. Yan. Mm-hmm. Sige. So, before we continue and while we're waiting for the others to answer, ikaw ba, Monique, nagturo ka ba ng cognitive psychology? <laughs> oh, uh-huh. yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Ah, oh, my gosh, yes. Uh, Uh, um, challenges? Well, uh, marami, no? Um, before, kasi, syempre, uh, normal times pa, so face-to-face yon. So, uh, you have everything uh, in a traditional mode. But uh, as a course itself, uh, medyo mahirap siya if you're really not into uh, that kind of specialization, um, yung uh, cognitive uh, facility, even language, no? So, uh, mahirap siya if you have not really read, particularly yung mga recent um, researches. Kasi marami na siyang developments yung field of cognitive psychology. So, pag hindi ka updated and abreast with the recent developments, you'll still get stuck with the old uh, framework of understanding uh, cognitive psychology yon. Oo, sige. So, I think yung yung preparation, no, medyo mahirap. Yes. Si Ralph Randall Rivera, sabi niya, Hello da, watching from Laguna. Ralph, since you are watching from Laguna, what are your concerns ba or challenges that you face when you're teaching um, cognitive psychology? So, ano pa ba yung mga... Ako kasi, never ako nagturo ng cognitive psych. <laughs> Parang gusto nila ako magturo ng cognitive psych. Pero ako, for me, nahihirapan ako. Ano ba yung mga dapat na topics that should be covered in cognitive psych. Uh, parang ang, ang lawa kasi niya eh, no? no? So parang ano yung mga pwede natin gawin para doon? Oo. So meron din tayo si Lilibeth uh, Piramide. Hello, watching from Palompon, Leite. Lilibeth, ano ba yung concerns or ano ba yung mga challenges that you face when you teach uh, cognitive psychology? So tingnan natin later on, no? Isa pang question natin na pwede natin itanong siguro mm-hmm. uh, later on as they're thinking about ano ba yung challenges na na face nila ay what were the challenges na na face natin in the current situation that there will be no in-person teaching and learning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I think very medyo general to no madami uh-huh. tayo na na face na challenges mm-hmm. I guess one of the things that we wanted to address also in the teaching psychology SIG is that um, how do you now transform your materials your activities how do you design your mm-hmm. your lessons and transfer it now to an online setup I think yung yeah. for example when we had season 1 no yung yung mm-hmm. ating, uh, para how do we do research ba Yes. Yeah, and, oh, oh. So, ano yung mga challenges naman? So, sabi ni Kams, uh, the Suarez, tama ba? The Suarez. The Suarez. So, watching from Cebu, I always enjoy your webinars. Uh, Godspeed and more power to you. Ayan. Man. So, Kams, sagot ka din, ano yung ating, ano ba yung mga challenges that you mm-hmm. face? No? Um, ano ba yung challenges na na-face ninyo? Uh, while you're teaching, yeah. Uh-oh. And yung second question was um, uh, more general, and I think it was asked in in the previous season. No, I, ito yung pinaka consistent na challenge uh, for our um, teachers. Uh, paano ba uh, paano ba natin manage or paano tayo magadapt? sa bagong situation natin that uh, remote learning is uh, is being forwarded tsaka sa so walang face-to-face na interaction with students. So, uh, talagang mag-change yung paradigm mo no? in the way you teach. And even even your your the way you frame your teaching uh, pedagogically, uh, mag-iiba talaga siya. Mm-hmm. Tama. At yung isa pa nating mga question, isa pa nating mga question, isa pa nating mga question, Uh, another question that perhaps viewers can think about and also answer as part of her comment, what potential resources 
or solutions are available to you given the above or the challenges that we've mentioned a while ago. Ayan. Oh. So, eto merong isa. Sumagot na siya. Sabi ni Suarez, ano ba to? Mre? <laughs> so, yeah, yung challenge, assessment, okay? okay? Internet problems, standard test process every semester. Ayan. Sige. Um, another question siguro na pwedeng sagutin ng ating um, viewers or things that they can reflect on would be, given all the above, what help ba yung kailangan natin? Mm. And where can I get these? Yun. Ano ba yung mga, given na ito yung nahihirapan ako, so kunwari ako ay nahihirapan, ano bang mga topics yung dapat kong i-cover? Yes. Okay. Tapos, paano kung ngayon siya ituturo online? No? Mm-hmm. Ano ba yung mga uh, kailangan ko ngayon gawin at saan ko kaya ito pwedeng makuha? No? So, sige, meron tayo from uh, Bataan. Uh-huh. Si Dayan at, ata, si Dayan, ah, sumagot. Si Dayan. Okay. Ayan. Kasi, Sabi ayan. Na, I also I had... Cognitive oh, Psychology Fair. May mga ginawa silang mental games para sa ibang students, pero ngayon parang hirap na gawin. True, true. Uh, how you're going to migrate yung inyong original class activities into uh, an online platform is, uh, I think, one of the top three uh, challenges for the teachers, no? Kasi you really have to get out of your comfort zone. Kasi if you've taught the course several semesters at uh, nasanay ka ng ganun yung setup mo, uh, biglang ganito, no? So uh, that's why we're uh, here in our webinar to um, be assisted or helped by um, for th- from those who really had experience no, with uh, remote learning. That's correct. Meron din tayong comment. Ay, natakpan na tayong lahat. Okay. okay. <laughs> sabi niya, sabi ni Aida, hindi ko naman masyadong mabasa. Okay. Good afternoon po. It was my first time to teach the subject. Then ECQ came. Um, A big challenge but, talaga. Then mm-hmm. the school wanted to deliver the subject in a lighter way. Now we are asked to make a mojo concentrating more on experiences than content. Please help. Ayun. Ayan. <laughs> <laughs> help. Oh, so, I guess, ano din siya, no, nagpatong-patong din siya. So, for example, mm-hmm. kay Aida, sabi niya, first time niya magturo. And we have viewers like that, no? Na, yeah. hindi, first time nilang pagtuturuin, ano yung ngayon yung ituturo nila. And then, you have a different uh, mode of instruction, a different mm-hmm. way of teaching it. And then, because we also have these concerns na nanggagaling sa different sectors, so hindi naman pantay-pantay yung kalagayan ng ating mga students, yes. uh, kailangan mo ngayon magbigay din another alternative such as modules din mm-hmm. to be able to help naman other students and accommodate other students as well. Mm-hmm. So, so ang an dami nun, layer by layer by layer, mm-hmm. hindi mo patapos yung isang problema. Okay. Yeah. Meron ka na naman <laughs> No, tapos meron na namang bago. And I'm sure that a lot of our our teachers uh, are are experiencing the same thing, no? Uh, so while we're doing this, uh, siguro meron meron mag-comment kayo ha kung ano yung mga sagot ninyo, ano yung balikan natin yung first question. First natin. question. There were four Uh-oh. questions already posed. So review natin ha, parang class. <laughs> Ayun. What was the first question? Okay, what are the challenges that I face or you face as a teacher uh, as I as you teach cognitive psychology? Yon, that's the first one. The second one, ano yun, Bear? Yung second one natin ay lalabas na, sabi ni Direk, what are the challenges that I face in the current situation that there will be no in-person teaching and learning? Yon. And then the third, Monique, what potential resources or solutions are available to you given the available or the above challenges? Yon, right. third question, yon. And the last question. I, given all the things that we've mentioned a while ago, ano ba yung mga kailangan natin help and where where would we be able to get these? Yon. Okay, yon. so merong may sumagot sa atin. Sabi ni Maylene Garcia, what is the additional tanong? Anong pa siya? Okay. What approaches could I use as a teacher in order to minimize the anxiety of my students in using gadgets and internet? So, siguro, isa din siya sa mga 
De, tanong siya, pero pwede naman din siyang sagot na ano ba yung mga challenges at saka yung way of how we will be uh, teaching this particular uh, this particular subject also. Mm-hmm. No? Sige. So dahil mag-130 na, <laughs> o, introduce na natin yung ating uh, magiging guest for this okay. afternoon. Before we do that, paalala lang natin na mm-hmm. we are not giving... Um, Certificates for webisodes. Um, kasi, um, this is actually just a venue for us, you know, for everyone to come together, think about, reflect, and plan. No, hindi siya mm-hmm. talaga meant uh, for a workshop or a, a webinar. Ano, pwedeng webinar yung type ng ating discussion, pero most probably um, iba kasi yung mga expectations no kapag kapag mga sure. webinars mm-hmm. uh, and workshops yung ginagawa natin. Ay, may sumagot. Bago tayo Ay, mo. Okay. Itak na tayo. Ito yung mukha ako. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sabi niya, one particular challenge we are facing at the task of developing modules to accommodate students who have no internet. Yan. Oo. No? So parang, rather than just an online, nagiging offline din siya. Tama ba, Monique? Offline. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Remote teaching and learning. Yeah. Uh, additionally, the difficult DAO or the difficulty, difficulty. of teaching topics, uh, students might find too technical. Yeah. Uh-uh. Tama. Yeah. So, isa din yun sa mga ano. Uh, uy, thank you, uh, Suarez Mre. <laughs> thank you, maraming salamat kahit wala kaming certificate. Oh, thank you for being interested. I think yun naman yung mahalaga din for teachers, no? Da, parang they have lang a venue din. Um, to think about and reflect on some of the things. Kasi minsan, feeling nila sila lang din yung, yung, yung lang, sila lang yeah. yung, yung ganong pinagdadaanan. Mm-hmm. And this is actually a very shared experience na pinagdadaanan natin lahat. No? Mm-hmm. And, and um, if you think about it, no, um, some schools or universities are um, giving the freedom to the teachers to actually, you know, be creative and innovative about these things. Um, and this is a venue for them to get ideas no insights um uh, tips na pwede nilang gamitin to apply in their uh, uh, planning and even designing their courses uh, on an online platform right okay sige so simulan yeah. na natin i'm sure excited na ay lumapit masyado yung mukha ko so excited <laughs> na yung ating mga guests siguro monique you can start introducing our guests for this afternoon Yes, our uh, guest, um, we're very happy uh, that he obliged us, no? Uh, that he uh, accepted our invitation uh, for season two. And siya talaga yung pinaka-unang ep- webisode uh, resource speaker. So our uh, resource speaker has completed his doctorate in clinical psychology from the Ateneo de Manila University. He is a certified specialist in clinical and assessment psychology of the PAP and was actually its past vice president. He has been a registered psychologist since 2013. He is a founding member of Psych Consult Incorporated. You might be familiar with it. And a full-time faculty member of the Department of Psychology in Ateneo de Manila University. He is engaged in various active uh, research uh, publications uh, and work. Um, He has been teaching, mentoring, and supervising um, other psychologists since the late 1990s. So, may clue na kayo sa kanyang age, Okay, he has an extensive experience in the practice of psychology, doing both psychological assessment and a range of psychological interventions and training other psychologists and allied professionals for over 25 years. Amazing. Please help us welcome our dear friend of the teaching SIG, Dr. Boboy Alianan. Hi, Doc. How are you? Hello. Good, good morning. Ay, good afternoon good pala. Afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon to everyone. Good afternoon, Monique and Bear. Hi, good afternoon. Ang galing-galing naman ninyo. Be. Sobrang, sobrang galing nitong webinar na to. I've never been uh, a webinar where the 
where the moderators and hosts are very, very entertaining and very animated. So this is really, really, uh, uh, it's a really nice to be part of this. Yeah, no. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Boy. Thank you. Sige. Munit, baka meron ka munang mga questions kay Dr. Boy uh, while I prepare yung mga slides na gagamitin natin this afternoon. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, Dr. Boy, um, uh, first and foremost, thank you very much for accepting our invitation. I'm sure maraming matutulungan ng at, na mga teachers in psychology particularly. And um, uh, I would like to ask, no, I think this is a pressing, parang uh, uh, a quirky question. Naku, Monique, parang nawala ka. Hindi kita nari- hindi ko na narinig yung second part ng oh, sinasabi mo. Na- naguluhan na si Pero I, I, it's really a pleasure. Oh, oh, it's really a pleasure to uh, to accept uh, your invitation, the teaching SIG uh, invitation. I am part of this SIG, of course, no? And and whenever Siver uh, invites me, I try my best talaga to to ano uh, to uh, to give uh, give time, no. So this is a really a wonderful opportunity. I, ho- I hope uh, we can we can re- all learn uh, a lot mm-hmm. from this webinar. Yes, yeah. Bear. Uh, parang nawala si Muni. Oh, oh. oh ma. So not a lot of people actually know. Nakapasok uh, or kasama dapat si Doc Boboy dun sa gaga na pinatin um, teaching congress. Dapat ni tung May. Hindi ba Doc Boboy? <laughs> Nag schedule na tayo and stuff. And then yes. what happened? Oh, and then what oh. happened was because of the ECQ and the MECQ, um, we weren't very sure pa nung una eh, whether we would cancel or we would, uh, if we would still push through with this. And and we're very happy, Doc Bopoy, kasi ito yung isa sa mga topics na later on malalaman din ng ating mga viewers. Bakit ba natin yun lang ang pag-usapan ng cognitive psychology? No? Um, I think one of the reasons then na bakit natin to ginagawa is because because of the new curriculum that we have now no <laughs> no mukhang magiging challenging to for a lot of psychology programs as well so yon so any anything that you'd like but to share um you've been teaching Dr. Boboy um cognitive psychology for quite some time already kung ikaw yung sasagot ba nung mga tanong natin kanina ano ba yung unang challenge if you go back sa first time mong nagturo noon Ano yung pinaka-challenging sa'yo? Mm-hmm. I love to say, uh, Ver, naku, I'm going to reveal my age as I talk about this. No, I never uh, took a course uh, in psych in the undergrad level. No, So yung parang pinaka-cogsay na class na tinake ko was sometime in the, in the early 90s. Uh, at uh, grad level yon kasi sa Ateneo yung nag-graduate school ako isa siya sa mga uh, required uh, content courses for graduate students no so so ano siya uh, advanced uh, uh, cognitive psychology siya pero alam mo yung textbook nung time na yon tsaka nilalaman ng textbook is nowhere near what they are now no so parang napaka basic nung nalaman natin about uh, and the studies that have been done uh, at the time. No? In my undergrad, um, for those of you who had uh, be, uh, been to UP and who are doing uh, the curriculum in UP, uh, walang cognitive psychology. Ang, the nearest subject we had was perception, no? That's the psychology of perception. Tapos parang ligaw na ako talaga yung uses na sinanti, sinanti, sinabihan ako na magtuturo ako ng COGSI, no? Siyempre, when you're a young teacher, gang-ho ka, you want to do, do your best, no? And, and I knew I was very inadequate, no? So, uh, at that time, no? So, alam mo, uh, many many teachers might be feeling that way now, no? Uh, na, nako, kailangan magturo ng COGSI. Tapos, kailangan pa na, na creative kasi nga, hindi in-person yung teaching. Nako, pa, paano natin to gagawin, no? So uh, please, please uh, be reassured, no, that uh, we all go through that, no, we all go through that. Ako ngayon adjusting to 
to uh, to the ECQ and the GCQ and now uh, online learning no uh, parang uh, I am relearning how to teach this course again no uh, because of the challenges of the current pandemic so talagang ano uh, kaya nga sabi ko kay Ver yung inimbitahan niya ako na na pumunta dito diba Ver sabi ko sa iyo I don't want to be an expert uh, in this I think we are all learning together here no and uh, that's why I wanted to post those questions to you, no? Um, to get a situationer, no? What are you feeling? How are you doing in uh, in managing the tasks that are being assigned to you at work, no? And uh, and definitely uh, there are many many challenges for all of us, no? Right. Oh, oh. thank you, Doc Boboy. I think bumalik na si Monique. Monique, come on down. There. Hi. Down, Sorry down about that. Si Monique. <laughs> oh, as in down. As in down. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Ayusin ko na yung oh, oh. ano na niya uh, si Yoman Monique parang. May tanong ako kanina. Oh, oh. Ako din. Ako din. Oo. Oh, Oo. Oh. Oh, oh. Na 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 saan ko naman kung ano yung tinatanong mo. Oo. Nagtanong ko kanina, Sir uh, Doc Boboy, about um, bakit ba merong ibang mga teachers na they find cognitive psychology a very intimidating uh, course? What is, what is it about cognitive psych na napaka-aversive sila to handle it or they're, they're pretty insecure in handling it? I must, I must tell you as well, no? I am intimidated by cognitive psychology <laughs> up to this day, no? Parang, <laughs> now, now, to answer your question, why for me, for me, uh, it is very intimidating because uh, it is the heart of uh, psychology in the current state of our science, no? Kung baga, lahat ng mga scientific understanding natin about psychology, karamihan, no, are tracing their roots in cognitive science. No? So, yung cognitive is really expert methods. No? Maraming yes. mga experts na ginagamit at yung mga findings ng mga experiments, ito yung nagbibigay sa atin ng basic understanding ng functioning natin. No? Kung baga, what's the definition of psychology? The definition of psychology is the scientific study of behavior and mental processes. Okay? Yeah. Yung behavior and mental processes, yun na ang cognitive psychology. Yun mm-hmm. na yun. Mm-hmm. Kung ano yung pinag-aaralan natin sa mental processes, ay yung yun na eksakto sa Sa, sa ano no many of the other areas kasi no na required din no personality social yes. psychology okay developmental psychology io uh, psychology all of these are offshoots no yeah. marami sa mga studies na ginagamit doon sa mga subjects na yan ay implications of the studies that are that have been done within the realm of cognitive sciences no mm-hmm. so parang dito kailangan talagang bihasang bihasa tayo sa science ng ating field no true, true. and that is the reason why this is such an intimidating subject no not all of us are interested in this no many of us are interested in psychology because of the theories because of the fluidity of the yes. field, no? Yes. The, the ability of the field to be artistic when you want to be artistic, to be scientific when you need to be scientific. But in cognitive psychology, it is a science. Ito talaga heart ng science natin. So talagang, kung hindi ka science person, ma-intimidate ka talaga, no? Kasi we yes. are dealing with some of the hardest facts in our science, no? Na merong parang malinaw na sagot sa mga tanong, no? Or mas malinaw na sagot. Siguro hindi ko sabihin malinaw na malinaw, no? Pero may linaw ng konti yung sagot, no? Compared to the theories of personality, compared to even or IO psychology na one theory has advantages advantages theory has advantages and disadvantages. you can pit them against each other no uh, in cognitive yeah. psychology there needs to be very clear experiments that show why that theory is so no and an, a, a contrasting experiment that that uh, rivals the findings of another need to be ex- need to ex- how no uh, the processes are different or the same no 
So itong tala, ito talaga yung ano no, kumbaga ito yung heart ng science natin kaya nakaka-intimidate talaga. <laughs> I hope I yes, answered yes. your question. That was yes, a very Yes, very good much question. so. Yeah, very much so. And I'm sure uh medyo may clarity mm-hmm. ng ating mga teachers and because of uh, of this web episode uh, this afternoon uh, i hope uh, it can be less intimidating i guess uh, for our teachers and uh, it's about time that we start siguro doc boboy tama ba yes yes okay thank you very much monique i appreciate this no oh sige so ang ang ating talk today and i was asked to talk about teaching cognitive psychology no tas ako na yung nakaisip nitong ano na to nitong title na to no na realities and potentials no so what are the realities what are the potentials so next slide please so dito sa next slide i am talking about what i will be sharing with you this afternoon no as the content of what we will be talking about no so we already had the earlier uh, the earlier part no yung sharing uh, by by some of you about your own thoughts, your own apprehensions uh, about uh, about teaching uh, cognitive psychology, uh, both in person and now online. No, so uh, the challenges that are coming uh, to this. No, I will be talking about uh, cognitive psychology as an undergraduate course that is now required by CHED. No, for any uh, degree offering university uh, to be accredited. No. So, pagka magtuturo ka ng psychology as a major, kailangan talaga may kogsay. Mamaya pag-uusapan natin yan, no? And then, I will also talk about, o oh, sige, given the descriptions of CHED, ano naman yung para sa akin, yung parang topics that we need to cover, no? Ano ba yung, ano ba yung sabi na natin, essential? Ano ba yung nice to have? Ano ba yung, uh, if you still have time, uh, it would be good to include. Yung parang ganun klase, no? Ano ba itong mga topics na masasabi natin na uh, of high priority or of lower priority, no? Tapos, uh, we'll, we'll be talking about the realities of our current situation uh, given that uh, many of us will are challenged to actually be doing online learning, no? Uh, and online teaching, no? And I'll be differentiating uh, distance learning or remote teaching uh, with online learning, no? so I'll, I'll differentiate that. I'll clarify uh, when uh, one is more appropriate than the other, or what are the challenges for each one, no? And then we'll talk about the potentials of our current situation. So the realities, my potentials, no? And then I'll end by talking about some practical tips, no? So yan ang ating outline. Next slide, please. Um, so na, nasabi na natin yung uh, yung na, na, na required ng CHED itong uh, itong subject na ito no in fact sa CMO 34 series 2017 ano, of seven, uh, 2017 uh, it listed uh, the cognitive psychology as one of the required major courses no um, for BS and AB psychology no um, uh, and um, and uh, the course description according to that CHED memo, is as follows. No? It's an introduction to research and knowledge in the psychological study of important cognitive abilities, including sensation and perception, attention, memory and representation, language and thinking. Yan ang course description na pinopropose ng CHED no? for, uh, for uh, the schools. No? Um, uh, next slide, please. So ano naman yung yung sinasabi nilang course content? Ano yung recommended course content dun sa CMO na yon, ano? Um, and uh, in fact itong CMO na to you can easily download from uh, uh, the CHED website, no? So i-search nyo lang yung number na yan, CMO 34-2017. Mak- makikita nyo yan and pwede yung basahin yung kabuuan ng document na yan, ano? But of course, of course for our for discussion I'm really just talking about uh, cognitive psychology, no? So ano yung suggested course content nila. Ang sinasabi nila, mag-introduction muna to cognitive science and then perception, consciousness and attention, concept and knowledge uh, representation, and then human memory, encoding storage retention and retrieval, tapos uh, language, no structure and comprehension of language, problem solving and decision making, and then 
finally, individual differences in cognition. Ito yung sinasabi ng, ng, ng CHED memo na, na kailangan included sa curriculum natin. No? Now, depende na ito sa ano ninyo, no? sa school ninyo. Some schools that are accredited uh, do not need to follow uh, the CMO. No? Uh, some, some schools who are still gaining or trying to get some kind of accreditation need to follow the CMO in order for them to get that CHED accreditation. No? And so you will need to follow this. No? Ito na yung kailangan ninyong uh, ituro. No? Now, syempre, depende na yan sa inyo, depende sa teacher nyo. You might emphasize some topics more than others, but at the very least, in your course outline, all these topics need to be included. No? Yan ang patakaran natin pagka sumusunod tayo sa CMO uh, ng CHET. No? So, kung ako naman ang tatanuin nyo, next slide please. Kunyari, ako lang, no? uh, hindi naman ako mag-accredit sa inyo sa CHED, hindi naman ako kasama ng technical panel at hindi naman ako kasali sa CHED. No? Pero kung ako lang ang tatanungin ninyo, ano ba yung ire-recommend ko? Uh, I've been teaching uh, cognitive psychology siguro on and off for about 10 years. No, on and off for about 10 years. Hindi, hindi tuloy tuloy. And I taught cognitive psychology both as an undergraduate course and as a graduate uh, course. Kasi dati, yung grad school namin required ang advanced cognitive psychology. So I had to cover some extra material pagdating sa grad school no? na hindi ko kinocover pag sa undergrad. No? So, so ano yung masasabi ko na for the undergrad curriculum, ano yung masasabi ko na pinaka-pinaka-pinaka-mahalaga? Most essential. No? I will say three topics. Attention and consciousness, knowledge and knowledge representation, memory, and memory processes. So if you're going to emphasize, if you're going to put in uh, time uh, into your uh, curriculum, into your, uh, into your course content, these are the three topics that I think are most important. No? They really tell us a lot about how the mind works. Mm -hmm. They tell us a lot about the mental processes that we are talking about. No, na kanina yung pinag-uusapan namin ni Monique, no, na na eto yung heart ng ng ano no, ng ng uh, ng psychology as a field. Tapos within this heart, etong tatlong topics yung sasabihin natin main arteries. <laughs> Yan yung okay. pinaka mahalagang part ng ng ano no ng ng uh, ating science no tapos um, moving along from that ano yung sa tingin ko yung kailangan natin lagyan para magkaroon ng context yung tatlong topic na yan no para magkaroon sila ng context kailangan pag-usapan talaga yung philosophical antecedents no ano yung philosophy greek philosophy basically that has uh, influenced our science no because psychology is a western science no it was influenced by western philosophy no and basically this is um yung yung dalawang philosophies ni aristotle at ni plato no so yan ang umpisa palagi ng kahit ano kahit na pasakalye lang isa dalawang session lang okay na yon no okay. and then after that we, we probably need to understand also sensation and perception. What's the difference? What's the difference between sensation and perception? How are the different senses, particularly the visual sense, the hearing, the auditory sense, no? and maybe the olfactory sense and the tactile kinesthetic sense, how do the, all these work? No? And how is that different from our perception? No? Kasi ito, dito nag-distinguish yung body at saka mind. mind yes. no? Yung body, sensation yon Ang perception, mind yon no? So, yun yung pagkakaiba niyan. Doon naghihiwalay no? uh, yung dualism na sinasabi natin ni Descartes. Diyan magmumula yon sa sensation and perception. And this becomes a very, very good a jump off point to talk about the three topics that I talked about earlier. No? So, next slide, please. Now, sa totoo lang, itong mga topics na ito, itong limang topics na sinasabi ko ngayon, ano, are a little bit dry. Hindi sila ganun ka-interesting. Yung memory may pagka-interesting, no? Pero yung attention, yung knowledge and knowledge representation, napaka-boring yan. Hindi, yan. hindi yan yung gustong malaman ng mga studyante. Sa totoo lang. Para sa mga estudyante, ano yung gusto nilang malaman? Problem solving, creativity, 
yes. decision making. Lahat yan mental processes. Pero mm-hmm. hindi natin to ma- discuss kung hindi natin i-discuss muna yung knowledge representation, yung memory, mm-hmm. di ba? At saka yung attention, di ba? Kasi yun yung pinaka-basic ng lahat ditong mga functioning na ito. So para sa akin, ito naman yung most interesting and relevant to our students. No? So in the end, yes. pwede ninyong gamitin itong mga topics na ito, no? Language and comprehension, reasoning and logical thinking, uh, decision making, problem solving, creativity, individual differences. You can talk about all of these topics, but you can use them as vehicles to para ma- magamit nyo yung mga topics na nasabi ko kanina. Gagamitin nyo yung vehicles para maintindihan itong mga bagay na ito. Pag na-link nyo yun, na-cover nyo na, you have actually hit two birds with one stone. Yes. No? So, yun ang idea dito, no? na ito yung mga interesting parts para sa atin, interesting parts para sa ating mga mga uh, mga estudyante, gamitin natin para matutunan nila yung knowledge representation, para matutunan nila ang, uh, anong tawag dito, ang uh, memory and, uh, and, and the different aspects of memory. So, yun yung mga para sa akin yung topics to cover, no? But it's really up to you depending on how you plan to teach, how you'd like to do it, and what you will include and what you you will not include, no? Pero sa, as I said, sa opinion ko, eto yung aking categories in terms of priority, no? Yes. So next, next slide, okay? So ano naman yung yung nakikita nating reality sa uh, mundo natin ngayon. No? What are we facing given the pandemic, given that many of us will not be able to teach in person in a classroom? No? So, ano yung realities? The realities are not all of our students have access to technology. Yes. No? Um, not all students um, have uh, or uh, may have but have poor internet connection. Mm-hmm. No? So kahit na may internet sila, hindi, ma- uh, hindi necessarily na maganda yung bandwidth nila. No? Uh, like, like ako kahapon nagtitesting kami ni, ano, nandito tayo sa Manila, typically we have the best, uh, uh, ang tawag dito, the best uh, uh, utilities yes. or connection in the, in the Philippines. No? Um, and yet, kahapon, parang hindi kami magkarinigan nila Monique, yung nagre-rehearse kami for today, no? And I was afraid na baka ako, baka magloko yung internet ko today, no? Uh, nangyayari yan sa lahat sa atin, no? No matter how good your internet connection is, no? Um, and if you have a good connection but your students don't don't have or don't have, vice versa, yes. mm-hmm. it will have problems, no? It will have really problems, no? Now, Another issue is, do your students all have ICTs or uh, internet-capable technology? No? Uh, information and communication technology. Yan ang ICT, no? information and communication technology. Hindi lahat ng bata merong cellphone na may internet connectivity. Hindi lahat. No? Yes, uh, yes. Na natin, karamihan, lalo na yung mga nakaka-college, meron. Karamihan. Pero... Sabihin na natin, sabihin na natin, 20% wala. Yeah. Yung 20% na yon, pag ginawa mong isang libo yon, dalawang daan na yun. <laughs> yeah. no? Hindi yung konti. No? Hindi mm-hmm. yung konti. In fact, uh, that that became our problem at the Ateneo. And I'm talking about the Ateneo, how we have among the wealthiest students, di ba? No? Yes. Um, about 20 to 30% of our students had no stable internet connection. And we discovered that towards the end of the second semester when we were trying to continue the semester despite the ECQ. Mm-hmm. So dahil doon, kailangan kami mag-suspend ng requirements. Kasi mm-hmm. we, we were going to be unfair to the 20 to 30% of students who did not have internet connection. True, yes. no? So reality ito sa situation natin, sa situation ng mga estudyante natin. Mm-hmm. Another reality would be the home environment might not even be suited for learning. I know some students who live in a very cramped apartment. No? And, yeah. and uh, the, a family of four to six with yeah. some extended family members live in that cramped apartment. Saan sila mag-aaral? 
Hindi mm. naman lahat sa kanila meron ganitong kwarto na pwede nilang gamitin na spare na room para ah. mag ano no, para mag online learning, no? Mm. Hindi lahat may ganyang capability, no? So, isa pa itong reality sa ating buhay, no? Mm. And yes. with uh, social uh, distancing, uh, it becomes even more problematic, no? Now, uh, next would be um, yung no physical space, density of the people in uh, or objects in the shared space. Yung iba, ma- malaki-laki nga yung bahay, pero actually nagdo-double as part of the business. Yes. So, kalahati ng bahay, bodega. No? Uh-huh. So, wala nga talagang room. No? Walang, kwa- walang lugar para mag-aral. No? Tapos, hindi lang yun. No? I have some students who had, who had really la- large or nice homes. However, the emotional tone of the home was not yeah. suitable for learning. Mayat maya nag-aaway yung mga magulang niya, mayat maya nag-aaway yung kapatid niya at saka yung magulang niya. Mamaya mayat maya nagsisigawan silang magkakapatid. Yes. No? The emotional tone at home is not a good place for learning. So ito yung mga realities na nakikita natin given the work from home, study from home, and um, an online learning that we're talking about. No? Next slide please. Yung poor school support, no? not all our schools know how to support us, even understand what we need. No, I am fortunate. I, I come from Ateneo. The, the, the Ateneo is taking very good care of us despite yes. all the challenges we face. No, In fact, uh, as a school, they are even taking on a loan just so they can continue what we're doing. No? Mm-hmm. Kasi talagang hirap. Hirap lahat ng tao. We're anticipating a drop in enrollment, etc. No? So yung, yung school support, tuloy-tuloy ba yung school support sa inyo? No? May budget ba kayo to actually move online? Mm-hmm. Binibigyan ba ng school ng budget yon Binigyan ba kayo ng pera para sa internet connection ninyo? No? Baka wala. No? Yeah. Eh, tapos tayo na stress na anxious sa dami ng kailangan natin gawin. Ano? Gawin, yeah. Meron ba kayong mental health support? No, hindi lang po material support that we're talking about here, no, it's also health, no? Mm-hmm. Meron ba mga doktor na pino-provide yung insurance ng inyong ng inyong uh, ano, no, uh, school na pwedeng yung puntahan. Tapos kung may mental health concerns kayo na anxious na kayo sa lahat ng nangyayari ngayon, may resources ba kayong pwedeng puntahan, no? Mm-hmm. So eto 'yon, no? And there is a reality, no, that there is a lack of support. No? There are many schools who cannot even afford no, walang yeah. budget, no? Mm. Tapos tapos wala talagang infrastructure, no? Hindi naman tayo uh, sobrang internet connected na country. Yeah. That that uh, that um there's an online inter, inter, uh, an tawag dito, online learning infrastructure within mm. the school, no? Very few schools have this. Yes. No? And not only that, do do the school even have competent no competent uh, professionals who can teach all the teachers what to do yes. diba? this is now in fact what's happening to us in ateneo i'm attending a course on online learning because this is not something i know how to do <laughs> no? and yeah. our own teacher center no the ateneo teacher center and in cooperation with us with salt which is a uh, a, 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 a group within Ateneo is helping uh, us equip us to know how to do online learning. No? Meron bang ganun sa mga ibang school? Baka wala. No? Yes. So these are realities again. No? So lack of experience and expertise in online learning delivery. No? How many among us actually have ever attended an online course? But you will have an idea what it's like. How many among you have actually tried teaching online? No, ako I cannot claim that. No, I have never taught online, and I have never attended an online course. At best, I have attended lectures online, yes. single lectures for a particular topic. That's it. No, yeah. or a pre-recorded lecture that I am watching and I'm studying on my own. In which mm-hmm. case, self-study yun, no? Hindi yes. talaga necessarily online learning, di ba? Yes. No? Mm-hmm. So, tapos hindi lang yun, no? Sa dami ng class preparations ninyo, alam ko, some of you have loads of 28 units, 21 units, oh, no? Yes. Tapos, apat na preparation yun, no? Oo, isipin mo yun. Kung apat ang preparation mo, lahat i-convert mo to online learning, 
before long, you are burnt out. Yes. No? For me, I'm fortunate this coming semester, I only need to do two. No? But as it is, no? yeah. having to learn the new stuff, adapting my syllabus into into uh no, and i am extremely familiar with my material these are materials mm -hmm. i have taught for years and years and years no bali balik din mo yung materials na yun alam ko sila no uh -huh. pero paano kung bago kun ka tapos never mo pa na, na, na hindi ko hindi mo gamay yung topic tapos kumakapa ka tapos kailangan mo pa i-adapt into an online uh, ano no eto ngayon uh, talagang reality siya no talagang yeah. uh, it's a big uh, uh, source of stress no so okay enough with the bad news yeah. no i want now to talk about good news what are the potentials okay no so kasi sinabi ko na lahat ng mga woes natin saka mga mga hindi magandang nangyayari no ano naman ang potentials natin ano ang totoo niyan there are there are two ways that we can actually be delivering online courses. There is the synchronous way. Ibig sabihin live, parang ganito. Nanonood kayo yeah. live ito. Mag-type kayo diyan sa 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 comments, makikita ko, pwede ako mag-react. Yeah. Live siya, no? Oo, ang tawag dito synchronous, no? Pwede din kasi na asynchronous. So I understand from from Monique and Ver after this lecture, we will be leaving this recorded lecture in the Facebook page of the SIG. Yes. So that means other people later on can actually be watching this. It is a resource that is already there online, no? Ang tawag naman dito asynchronous. No? Mm -hmm. That people don't have to be uh, at, on, online at the time that this is being broadcast, mm -hmm. and they can still get the same, um, the same uh, information Substance, that is material. Yes. Oh, oh. Now you have to realize, parang ano ito eh, parang communication to, kasi in order for us to really be teaching, there needs to be an interaction between us and our students. Right? Yeah. That is yes. the difference between a course that you are uh, teaching and a self-learning module that is simply put online. No? Yes. The feedback that you give the students, the more frequent the feedback you give, the more personal your feedback is, the more you are able to coach, the more you are able to teach. And this is now the beauty of asynchronous learning that we can be doing asynchronous learning and rely on that. Pag hindi predictable yung signal, yung internet, mas magre-rely tayo sa asynchronous communications. Kung baga, sa telepono, imbis na tawagan mo yung tao, i-text mo siya. Kasi yung text mo, pag hindi na busy yung tao, makikita niya, mababasa niya, Mm -hmm. sasagutin ka niya. Kasi may tanong ka din sa text mo na hindi mo natanong kasi hindi mo siya matawagan. Dahil wala kang load o kaya siguro dahil uh, hindi mo siya ma-reach kasi wala siyang signal yung time na yes. tinatawagan mo siya. So, pwedeng asynchronous ang teaching. That you leave guide questions, you leave homework for them to do with very, very specific instructions and they do it, they submit it to you at a certain deadline, and you give it back to them with feedback. Yun ang okay. learning experiences ng mga bata. At ito yung synchronous resources na sinasabi natin na may be available to a greater majority. No? So, yeah. ano yung tatlong types of online learning? No? Ano yung tatlong types? Distance or remote teaching? Meaning to say, dalawang, dalawang paraan yan, no? Ganito, synchronous, nag-lecture ako, lahat ng sudyante ko present. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay? At synchronous, i-record ko tong video na to. So yung mga walang signal, mamaya sandali, kung pwede siya, panuorin na lang niya. Asynchronous. So ang tawag dito, distance or remote learning. Mm -hmm. Merong yes. teacher, nagtuturo, tapos, hindi kayo in person, wala kayo sa isang classroom. So isang paraan yan na pwede natin gawin ang uh, non-in-person non uh, teaching. Pangalawa, online learning. Isa-setup mo 
yung modules ko online, kagaya kunyari, kanina may nabasa ako sa mga uh, ginagawa ninyo in the past, no? nagkakaroon kayo ng mental uh, mental exercise fair no? or cognitive psychology fair. Pwede mm-hmm. nyo pa rin doon yan. Pero sa Facebook, sa Facebook gagawin. So magkikreate ka ng channel, isashare mo yung channel na yon lahat ng activities ng mga studyante mo nandoon. Lahat ng mga uh, lahat ng mga uh, exercises na gagawin ninyo in person, ita-translate nyo online, kukuha kayo ng resources that are already available, ilalagay nyo lahat dun sa channel ninyo or sa web uh, sa Facebook page ninyo. Yung iba naka-link sa YouTube videos. Ganun. Pwede pa rin yung fair na yan. Kaya lang, asynchronous siya, tapos nakalagay siya lahat doon. Tapos bilang teacher, i-identify mo aling group ang nag-present ng aling project. Yeah. At titignan mo ngayon, paano nila pinomote yung mga project nila. Yeah. At gano kadami ang views, ano ang mga comments na binigay ng mga tao tungkol sa fair, ay sa mga activities na binigay. And that is how you know how big uh, an, an impact your students had on their, their audience. Mm-hmm. Di ba? So yeah. pwede pa rin yun. Ito ang mga online learning strategies. No? So gagamit kayo ng, disco, ng, ng discussion board. Mag-iiwan ka ng prompts for discussion. Tapos magbibigay ka ng dalawa o tatlong araw for people to actually put in their comments. Tapos along the way, magko-comment ka sa mga pumapasok na comments. Mm-hmm. Yun ang asynchronous discussion boards. Diba? And they can be very, very helpful. No? In fact, yung discussion board mo, pwedeng audio. Magre-record ka ng voice, ano mo doon? Mm-hmm. Yes. 30 seconds na recitation mo, i-upload uh-huh. mo doon. No? Yes. Pwede din type. No? Uh-huh. At na ano, pwede din video. So depende na yan kung ano gusto nilang gawin. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, Ito ang mga paraan ng online learning. No? It really relies on the students to do the work that they need to be doing, to find some of the resources that they, they can get for online and actually use and, uh, and learn along the way. So no? they are self-paced. And then, yung hybrid no method. Mm-hmm. Yes, they are. They can be self-paced. Pero, mm-hmm. syempre, gusto natin may konting deadline kasi we, we are still working within the semestral yeah. period. Mm-hmm. No? So, meron kang pace. No? So, itong topic na to, two weeks ito. Oh, sige, dapat by this time, tapos na kayo dito. Mm-hmm. Tapos dito tayo sa topic na ito. One yeah. week to. Oh, ganun, no? So, nag-umagalaw yeah. yung klase mo. Yeah. No? Tapos, hybrid methods would be a hybrid between the two. Meron kang synchronous Marami ka rin asynchronous na interactions. Mm-hmm. Next slide, please. So, my next slide highlights now our, uh, anong tawag dito? Our um, uh, pros and cons. Uh, your next slide would be yung table that shows, oh, that shows the pros and uh, how uh, each one is different from the other. Yeah, okay. So, merong remote distance teaching that I explained earlier online learning no so so both of them can be done synchronously or asynchronously okay i've explained that already earlier ang, the, re, ang remote or distance teaching is still teacher centered ako yung magtuturo makinig kayo ire-record ko makinig kayo sa lesson ko teacher centered siya ang online learning mas project based and so mas malaki ang opportunity na mas student centered siya mas student-oriented siya. So, the student learns from their own experiences given the prompts, given the projects that you are asking them to uh, write about or to talk about or to do. No? Tapos, um, uh, ang, ang remote or distance teaching requires adaptive, uh, adapting lectures to videos, assessments, uh, uh, and assessments or tests into an LMS or a learning management system. No? Mamaya pag-uusapan ko ano ba yung LMS na yan, yung mga learning management systems. No? Um, and and um, many of the learning management systems, in fact, have a uh, uh, capability of uh, administering tests. Kaya lang, ang problema lang dito, dahil na online karamihan itong mga to, no? pwede silang maghanap online for the answers also. 
pwedeng meron silang libro sa harap nila kasi hindi ka naman nagpo-proctor ng test na yon no mm-hmm. not unless meron kayong yung school ninyo provides uh, the ability for you to proctor them online meron ganon no meron ganon that uh, you can actually lock their screen no may mga yeah. app kang mabibili no binibili to hindi libre no that integrate more into your your LMS or your your learning management system so that when the, the students are taking tests their, their screen locks to the items that they need to be answering they cannot use other gadgets uh, or rather a- other apps on their gadget no so nagla lock screen di ka maka surf sa internet hindi mo mabuksan ng ibang apps hindi mo mabuksan ng notes mo kung may notes ka man no so pero Again, because of this, it might be good to actually go more towards online learning where we adapt the course to learning experiences. Mm-hmm. Yun na yung assessments mo, no? Yung assessments mo are the projects, no? Bigyan ko kayo ng konting halimbawa. Later on, I'll also talk about some tips, no? So for instance, sa cognitive psychology, no? Meron tayong tinatawag na mga topics on memory. Oh. So, in this na ipamemorize natin yung iba't ibang klasing uh, uh, memory uh, enhancing stra- strategies, strategies yeah. pwede mo silang pagawan ng project na how okay. can you help yourself remember uh, uh, terminologies in this subject? What mm-hmm. strategies can you suggest? How will you use the different mnemonic devices into this particular subject. Mm-hmm. Tapos, magbig, humingi kayo ng output. No? Sabihin nyo, o oh, sige, bigyan nyo ako ng isang idiot's guide of enhancing yeah. memory. Uh-huh. Oh. Tapos, idiot's guide na yun, yun na ngayon ang igigrade ninyo. Mm-hmm. Pag ginawa nila yun, pag in nila sa sarili nila yun, natuto silang ma-enhance ang sarili nilang memory at hindi lang yon natutunan din nila yung mnemonic devices at yung mga strategies. Di ba? So, yeah. you're hitting several birds with the same stone. Ang tawag dito, authentic assessments. Hindi lang siya uh, uh, intellectual knowledge, experiential knowledge siya. Mm-hmm. No? So, these are actually very good assessment methods. No? Tapos, ang, ang, ang remote or distance teaching can be, can be more engaging kasi nga live, no? you're talking to your students. Nakikilala ka nila. Ikaw din, nakikilala mo yung mga sudyante mo. No? Pag online learning, lalo na kung puro online learning ang gagawin ninyo, may pagka-impersonal ng konti. And it, it may make students a little, uh, feel a little bit more isolated. No? So, how do we uh, augment that? Group work. Get them to group themselves in pairs or in, th- in threes and then have them contact each other on Facebook or somewhere else and yeah. let them do projects together. Okay. Yeah, ways of getting them to interact with one another asynchronously. Google Docs is another way that we yeah. could be editing a document together but at separate times. Mm-hmm. No? So, yeah, no? Um, and tales more teacher enforced and accountability, no? Yung, yung uh, remote or distance learning, pwede ka mag-check ng attendance. So, may teacher accountability kahit na papano, no? Mm-hmm. Itong online learning naman entails more student motivation and more student initiative. Okay, next slide, please. So, ano yung ating mga opportunities that are available uh, uh, right now, no? For free, for many of us, the Google Suite, no? I already mentioned uh, Google Drive folders, no? Where you can actually share documents with your students and students among each other, no? And you can even be commenting on the documents that they are developing. <clears throat> so, kanina may nagsasabi, ang requirement ko sa mga sudyante ko, research. Paano ko na yan gagawin ngayon? Pwede literature review muna. Yeah. Tapos, within the literature review, nagko-comment ka na sa work nila. Tapos, mag-design sila ng study nila na baka pwede nilang ma-implement online. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, yes. when they are able to do something like this, no, then they actually have real data. Pwede sila mag-design ng experiment online. Mm-hmm. or pwede din na uh, na uh, anong tawag dito na uh, de-design lang nila yung study pero hindi nila i-implement 
nag-e-end yung study nila sa design lang. Design, At kayo, yes. i-rate yung, yung, ano nila, yung work nila based on that. Based on the lit review, the argumentation, and the design of the study. So, again, the more, um, the more frequent, the more regular your feedback is to them, the greater their learning opportunity becomes because it's very, very personalized. Yes. No? Kasi pwede mo talaga makita yung progress ng work nila pag nakashare kayo ng document sa Google Drive niya. Mm-hmm. Hindi lang yun, Google Classroom. Sa Google yeah. Classroom, yan ang ginamit ko yung second sem last, uh, ano, no, yung nag-start ng ECQ yeah. and we were still in the middle of the semester. Ginamit ko Google Classroom. No? I was able to uh, use Google Meet, nag, nag-distance teaching ako, tapos uh, binecord ko lahat ng videos na yun, tapos nakapost sila. Tapos at, at uh, given times, nagbibigay ako ng quizzes. No? Tapos may mga email ako na pinapadala, meron ako mga discussion questions for them to answer. No? Tapos may mga discussion boards sa Google Classroom, pwede nila gamitin yan. Ano pa yung mga iba? Zoom. Many of you are probably, itong, itong StreamYard that we're talking about now, no? that we're using right now, these are all ways of doing distance uh, teaching or remote, uh, remote learning. No? And there are many online videos and learning resources on relevant topics. In fact, many of the researchers uh, that are named in our textbooks have websites. Yeah. They, many of them, in fact, have videos that mm-hmm. highlight their studies. Kailangan lang natin silang hanapin. For instance, memory, ah, memory research, si Loftus no? yeah. has a video on TED. No? Yeah. You, can, you can get that video. Imbis na kayo mag-lecture tungkol sa memory, ayan na si Loftus. So, <laughs> siya na mismo. Siya na mismo. Siya siya na mismo. Lecture. <laughs> oh, oh. Tapos hindi lang yun. Yung attention experiments, no? The, um, uh, what's his name again? Uh, Daniels, no? Uh, Simmons, no? Daniel Simmons, no? Dan Simmons. Um, uh, uh, nandyan sila lahat sa YouTube. At meron, yeah. meron silang mga, mga simulations ng mga, uh, ng mga studies nila. Mm-hmm. So you can actually link send your students the link imbis na mag-lecture kayo tungkol sa mga experiments nila yun na yung i-send niyo no kasi that saves you the time for preparation that you can devote for checking the work of your students no yeah, yan yung you have to uh, no, no, boboy you have to also <laughs> anticipate uh these no so in every um let's say topic you really know the set of videos that you need to look at diba uh, prior in to fact, actually giving think... the class yeah so dapat you're doing Correct. your own research as well yeah yes ahead of time in fact mm-hmm. no you do it ahead of time you prepare your topics uh, a week in advance so mm-hmm. Nakalab- nakalagay na sila, ipapublish nyo na lang pagdating ng time, no? Yeah. publish nyo na lang sila, no? Ngayon, uh, I wanted to talk about other resources as well, no? Um, the LMS that I was talking about earlier, yan na yung next slide ko uh, there, no? Uh, yung next slide ko is uh, learning management systems. No? Ano ba yun, no? Ibig sabihin, house doon yung buong core Doon lahat ng yung mga discussion boards, yung mga quizzes ninyo, lahat nakalagay dito sa learning management system or LMS. Nabanggit ko na kanina yung Google Classroom, no? But there are other uh, free uh, resources that you could be accessing, no? Libre, no? In fact, no? Magsa-sign up lang kayo, tapos pwede nyo gamitin, no? Kaya yun lang, kailangan nyo matutunan pa paano, no? Uh, sa Ateneo, we have decided to use Canvas, no? in instruct kan uh, ang kampanya ang pangalan nung ano nila nung product nila is Canvas. So ginagamit gagamitin namin yan in fact yan yung inaaral sa yon no. And you can actually sign up for a free account. Tapos ang daming resources within Canvas uh, 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 from the Canvas community yung mga gumagamit. So they teach you how to use it, ano yung mga mga pwedeng gawin no sa sa loob ng LMS na yon. Ang galing-galing niya no. So Marami kayong magagawa dito sa mga ganitong LMS. No? There are others that are also free. Uh, all of the ones that I've listed here, Moodle, Chamillo, uh, Open edX, they are all for free. So uh, you don't have to pay to use them. No? 
So, yeah, yun lang, may mga limitations syempre ang free account, no? Pero ma, ma, okay na okay pa rin magagamit pa rin ninyo, no? Next slide, please. So, and now down to my practical tips. Tapos na tayo sa reality, sa potentials, no? Ano nga yun yung mga tips ko sa inyo, no? We really need to provide support for our students, no? If we can provide technology-related support, if we, if we can rally the school to provide technology-related support, even better, no? Tapos, teacher-related support, no? Uh, if we can, if we can uh, give our students, no? Uh, the support they need as mentors, as teachers, as educators. And then, let's go beyond. No? Wag lang yung teaching, wag lang yung, yung technological or material support, no? but also mental health support. No? Uh, every so often, we really need to be asking our students how they are, no? dropping them an email, dropping them a, a, a chat message, asking them how they are coping with the with the challenges of the situation, how they are doing, no? um, uh, linking them with your guidance offices no? so that they can get the help that they need. No? These are extremely valuable things we need to be doing as teachers. No? As teachers, we also need to be kind to ourselves. Do not think you can do everything now. No? Do the minimum that you can do if you are able to do this uh, remember that we are in this for the long haul. No? Yeah, Hindi true. lang ito dalawang linggo. No? Minimum nito four months, maaaring mas matagal pa dito. No? Yeah. Maaaring mas matagal pa dito. So, we really, really need to set up our own work schedule. Kahit na work from home tayo, meron pa rin tayong rest time, meron pa rin tayong break, hindi pa rin tayo sumasagot ng email paggabi. No? <laughs> Oo. Na may office hours, yung office hours gagamitin natin. No? Yes. This is extremely important. We need to keep our, a daily routine. We need to keep a weekly routine. Weekends are weekends. We need to be kind to ourselves. We still need rest. Yes. And only with this are we going to be able to sustain this. Only with this are we going to be able to, to really do our work well. No? Remember, we need to take care of our own health and our own mental health. Because if we don't, and we burn out, mm -hmm. ultimately, we are not the only ones who suffer. Our students will suffer as well. No? So we need to be examples to them. We also need to help ourselves. No? Tapos, deadlines. We need, you need to give clear deadlines for the tasks you are asking your students to do. You might want to break down large tasks into incremental tasks. Mm -hmm. so, yung incremental tasks na yun, chinecheck nyo na. And as you check those incremental tasks, no, you need to really help them. Totoo ito, no, nakikita ko yung live comment na yun, ano, kung <laughs> apat o lima ang preparations ninyo, paano? Talagang kailangan ahead of time, inuumpisahan nyo na. Yes, that's no? why we're here. Wag kayong, wag kayong uh, magkakram, no? Wag kayong magkakram. Mahihirapan talaga kayo. Or alternatively, kung talagang hindi kaya, mag-switch kayo ng strategies. Meron kayong mga klase na mas remote teaching lang, tapos unti-unti mm -hmm. i-transition ninyo yung courses ninyo to online learning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No? Hindi lahat ng lima will be transformed. No? Kailangan. Unti-unti. Yeah. Yeah. No? Pwede Kailangan yung dalawang yung courses na. Oo. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. Yes, Monique. No? Kailangan talaga ipipaste nila ang sarili nila. No? Kasi kung hindi, mababurn out talaga kayo. No? Uh, you cannot, uh, no, you, you have to remember, no? Rome was not built in one day. In it, no? yes. So, uh, in the same way tayo din, oh, no, we, cannot, we cannot do all of this all in the span of the next few weeks. It's going to be impossible. No? So, prepare what you can prepare. And then rely on your old trusty methods with some of your other courses just so you will be able to sustain them. No? And as I said, work at a pace, no? given the kind of schedule you have. No? Don't expect too much from yourself. No? Next slide, please. We need to use rely accessible ICT 
to communicate. No? So, we need to invest. No? Uh, at the very least, mag-increase kayo ng data ninyo sa telepono ninyo. No? Uh, at the very least. No? Kasi uh-huh. kailangan talaga yun, ano? But I, I will also tell you, the data of the, te- of the mobile phone is among the most expensive. Yes. So, kung kaya ninyo bumili ng mga gadget, yung mga, yung mga pocket wifi, mga ganon, mas okay yon kesa kung gagamitin ninyo yung data ng telepono ninyo. No? Kasi yung data ng telepono matakaw sa income. Yes. <laughs> no? So, uh, ang, ang yumayaman lang dyan, mga telecom. Yes. So, uh, yeah. And we need to encourage our students to give frequent feedback. In the same way, we want to give them frequent feedback, we want them to tell us where they are. We want them to tell us what they have accomplished so far, what's their pace. No? We want to require small group collaborations. Kasi nga, wala nang real-time interactions. No? Wala nang in-person interactions no? with their classmates. So, kailangan talaga meron tayong mga activities, meron tayong mga requirements that we ask our students to collaborate with one another. No? Um, hindi ko nasulat dito, pero one of the suggestions I could make is if you could translate your entire module, kunyari may online course kayo, no? into a printed form. Kunyari, gumamit kayo ng canvas, ng Moodle, o kaya ng ano, no? Lahat ng mga uh, sinulat nyo doon at ginawa nyo doon ay nako-convert into a PDF file. Mm-hmm. Pag naka-PDF na siya, pwede nyo siyang i-upload sa Google Drive, pwede nyo siyang i-print out, tapos iwan niyo sa secretary ng office niyo Yung mga estudyante na walang ICT yeah. can now go to your secretary and photocopy those materials or hand your secretary a USB drive that mm-hmm. they can copy the files and they can bring home with them. Mm-hmm. No, Ito yung mga ways of accommodating students to not have ICT access or who do not have, uh, anong tawag dito, uh, internet at home. No, So yan yung mga ways of doing it. No, Linking um, uh, yung, yung mga um, uh, exercises Teka, nasaan na ba ako? Teka, iba, iba pala. Give, okay. Give, um, frequent give frequent feedback. feedback to students. I've already talked about this a number of times. Set fixed consultation schedule. No? Sabi ko nga, huwag kayong available 24-7. Mamamatay kayo dyan, no? Magkakababurn <laughs> out talaga kayo, no? So, kailangan yung consultation hours nyo pareho pa rin. Two, three hours a week spread over different time slots through the week. So that your students can access you. Kung mag-iwan kayo ng landline, mag-iwan kayo ng cellphone number, pahala na kayo doon, no? Kung gusto nyo Facebook uh, uh, account, dahil walang ibang, ibang way of communicating, um, definitely, no? Pero syempre, security of, is a paramount issue here, no? So I will really, really caution you in using public uh, chat accounts, yung mga Facebook, yeah. ganyan, no? Kasi baka mga ibang ikokonsult sa inyo ng mga sudyan niyo are more private, no? Yeah. So yun lang, may care lang tayo na gagawin about this. Kung makakaset kayo ng sarili ninyong mga channels of communication, even better. No? Yung mga ICQ, yung mga ganun na, na mag-set up kayo ng mga, mga uh, channels ninyo for your students to be able to access you in a more private channel, even better. No? Tapos, uh, incorporate self-care activities and tips no, into your own schedule. No? Taking breaks, doing be- basic healthy habits. Ano ba yung basic healthy habits? No? Sleep right, eat, eat balanced meals, and uh, ang tawag the exercise. Yeah. Ano mga pinaka-basic na healthy habits? No? Kailangan meron tayo niyan. Uh-huh. Oo. Connecting with friends. No? Hindi, hindi puro trabaho lang tayo. Minsan, yung kaibigan natin, kakausapin din natin, makikita lang tayo sa kanila. Yung kapitbahay natin, makikipag-chismisan tayo over the backwood, kahit na may social distancing. No? Uh, we'll, do, we'll do whatever we can to take care of ourselves. No? And as I said time and again kanina pa, self-compassion. Very, very important. Now, I'm moving on to the next slide, and this is the learning assessment tips. No? Ano ba yung mga tips na mabibigay ko sa inyo in terms of assessment? No? How do we assess the learning of our students? No? Next slide na tayo, Vera. Hindi ko pa nakikita yung next slide. Yan, nakita ko na bigla. Okay, some exercises. No? Define, helping our students uh, define or find the definition of terms. Lalo na sa COGSAI, mahalagang-mahalaga ang terms. No? Yes. Ano ba yung pag 
pagkakaiba ng episodal memory sa 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 uh, autobiographical memory. Ano ba yung pagkakaiba ng short-term memory at ng working memory? No? So, yung mga terms na yan ibibigay natin sa mga estudyante, ipahanap natin ang definition sa kanila. No? So, isa yan. Assessment na yon. Kasi pag hinanap nila, somehow or other nabasa nila yon, alam natin, di ba? No? Number two, yes. quizzes. Bigyan natin ng quizzes frequent kahit na hindi graded man o hindi graded yung quizzes. Uh-huh. It's a way of uh, getting them involved in the learning process. Tapos I would also uh, recommend synthesis papers, no? Ano yung mga synthesis uh, papers? Linking evidence with theory. So kunyari sa attention meron tayong mga filter theories na tinatawag, no? Mm-hmm. Linking evidence. So mag-cite sila ng evidence that support the different filter theories. Mm-hmm. No? O kaya there is a, a Baddeley's model of working memory. So given that model of working memory, what evidence that does support every feature of that model? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Linking evidence with theory. Sa ganun pa lang, pag ginawa nila yung mga projects na yan, marami na silang natutunan. Mm-hmm. No? Critical discussions on the gap of knowledge. Yung mga, sa in- yung mga, mga mm-hmm. mahilig sa research sa inyo, no? Uh-huh. Ito ang nagbibigay ng topics for research. Gaps in knowledge. Getting our students to think about ano pa yung kulang sa current knowledge. Mm-hmm. O, alam natin that memory appears to be unlimited. How unlimited is it? We don't know. Yeah. Diba? How is it that certain things we don't remember, but we remember uh, that happened today, but we don't but but we remember something that happened a year ago or two years ago? How does that happen? No? So questions like this are extremely valuable in terms of getting our students to think more about the topics so that they will they will their curiosity is picked. And they get to think about it and find evidence to support a position they might have. Mm-hmm. Sure. Pag ginawa nila yun, natuto na rin sila doon. No? So, or summarizing current state of the knowledge. No? For instance, meron bang such a thing as multitasking? Given the literature on attention, meron, ano ang masasabi niya tungkol sa multitasking? You can have them create a paper around that. No? Or um, helping our students differentiate in knowledge representation sem- the semantic model of learning and the ACTR model of knowledge representation. Yeah. Ano yung pagkakaiba nung dalawang yun? Bakit, mm-hmm. bakit yung, ano yung advantages ng isa over the other? Mm-hmm. No? So again, these are things that we could ask our students to create, thereby helping them to think about it, thereby enhancing their knowledge on the topic. No? Yung mga araw-araw naririnig natin to sa mga nakatatanda, ano? Sabi lang, "Oy, okay, nagkaroon ako ng memory lapse, naka senior moment ako." No? Senior mm-hmm. moment daw. Totoo ba 'yon? In the current literature of memory, is there such a thing as senior moment? Pag tumatanda ba talaga tayo, nawawala ang memory natin? Totoo ba 'yon? What does research say about that? Yan ang mga questions we could be asking our students. Get them to write a paper. Put it out as a discussion question. Get them to to discuss topics like this. And then in so doing, they are learning. They are synthesizing information that you probably have taught or they may have read. No? So ito yung mga learning assessment tips. No? What are the other learning assessment tips that I'd like to make? No? Uh, next slide, please. Use the discussion board that I've talked about earlier online. No, you can talk about topics like this. No, advantages and disadvantages of models and theories that you've discussed. You can talk about the implications of the findings of a certain study that you had uh, that you had shown a video of. No, you see Loftus. No, for instance, mm-hmm. ano implication ng mga uh, research ni Loftus about uh, about uh, false memories? Oh, yon, no? How they how they might apply what they have learned in a specific lesson. So, kagaya nung sinasabi ko kanina, anong paano nila magagamit ngayon yung research on memory sa pag-enhance ng memory nila? Paano nila magagamit yung knowledge representation sa pag-enhance ng memory nila? No? Paano nila magagamit yung nalalaman nila about attention in terms of psychological testing? 
No? Yung mga ganong klaseng questions might be uh, very, very valuable and interesting for our students. No? Tapos, you might get your students, lalo na kung naka-Google Drive kayo, shared yung mga files ninyo, no? you can even ask your students to critique each other's work. Yeah. And based on their criticisms, you can grade them. Isa yeah. pang form of assessment yan. No? Kasi pag nagkikitik ka ng work ng ibang tao, meron kang nakikita na hindi mo nakita, at pwede mo ring makriticize kasi meron kang nakikita na hindi nakita ng group na gumawa ng work na yon. Mm-hmm. And in which case, it enhances the learning of everyone. Yes. No? So, yan yung uh, <laughs> nauubos na yung English mo sa kakadesign na activities for Mojo. No? Totoo yan. Totoo yan. So, minsan magkakagalog ka. Ganun uh-huh. lang yun. <laughs> no? Okay. Isa pang uh, learning assessment tip, uh, isa pang set. No? Next slide, please. Asking our students, so hindi lang online discussion boards, no? Creating mental models, creating graphical representations, creating infographics, no? Uh, yan yung mga uso ngayon, no? Creating a meme even. On what? Yeah. On attention and divided attention, on the con- on concept formation and associations, mm-hmm. on memory processes, mm-hmm. on decision making, on problem solving, or even creative processes. No? So, lahat ito pwede natin bigay, bigay na assignment sa mga studyante. Nakita nyo, actually, ang topic ng, ang, ang subject ng cognitive psychology is so rich. No? Ang dami-dami yes. nating pwedeng ipagawa sa mga studyante natin, depending on what you want to emphasize. No? So, uh, uh, the, the next part, so models ito, no? uh, schematic models. No? Uh, very similar to this would be infographics and videos, no? which is my next slide. Oh, ano yung ano yung uh, ano yung infographics or videos no explaining specific mental processes no uh, or discussing various kinds of memories or highlighting memory enhancing strategies or clarifying uh, mental processes like low stake versus high stake decision making ano pagkakaiba nun? no yung low stake yung ano kakainin ko mamaya low stakes yon no high stake decision making magre-resign na ba ako o mag- ako ng course, yan ang mga high stakes decision making. Yeah. Pareho ba ang, ang decision making process natin dyan? No? Yung maliligo na ba ako ngayon o bukas na lang? No? Yes. Low stakes yun. No? Uh, or high stakes, uh, nalabas ba ako at makikihalo-bilo ba ako sa mga frontliner friends ko o hindi? Mm-hmm. No? High stake decision making yan nowadays. No? Yes. So, so um, problem solving strategies. No? What are the different kinds of problem solving? No? Uh, oy, yeah, uh, I'm so glad, na, Ma'am Dayan, no? Uh, uh, sa no? inyong mga, sa inyong mga, oh, 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 parang oh. meron na nakikita mga encourage... comments na they're, they're actually picking up a lot of ideas. Mm-hmm. And we're also encouraging our uh, audience, no? Uh, to ask yes. questions. Baka meron kayong, don't forget to write it down or, or comment it on the chat box para makita natin, yes. no? Answer, we can answer them. I don't mind it's yeah. interrupted. Mm-hmm. I don't mind getting interrupted. So so okay, you know, uh, tinitingnan yeah. ko ngayon mga chat na sinusulat ninyo, you know, yung mga preparations ninyo. Okay. So, uh, last uh, I think last uh, would be application projects, no? Uh, improving one's attention span for instance, no? Uh, for reading a textbook, no? Yeah. Or enhancing one's memory or applying a problem solving strategy in a real life problem, no? These are all application projects you can be asking your students. And then as a, as a way of helping them learn the theoretical part, tell them to define for you what uh, different things they learned, they applied in this particular project they did. No? Pag na-articulate nila yun, nasabi nila yun, and for many of my students that I have done this before, sinasabi nila, this is among the best learning they got no? when they are able to apply it mm-hmm. in real life. No? Yeah. Oh, oh. So, anong sources, no? Um, ang ginagamit namin na textbook <laughs> ngayon ay Sternberg, Cognitive Sternberg. Pero Sternberg. from what uh-huh. I understand, itong Sternberg, oo, ay huling edition na. Hindi na niya gagawa ng panibagong yeah. edition, no? So, uh-huh. in about two to three years time, we will need to change, no? And and mm-hmm. uh, and I am really, uh, we're really looking at um, uh, uh, another uh, text. Yung isang text ata na tinitignan namin ngayon, yung kay Farmer. Pero hindi ko pa yun natitignan, so I haven't really decided yet what we will be using next. 
facts, no? Mm -hmm. uh, pero there's a book uh, that uh, the author is farmer, and they say that it's a pretty good book. So I'll see if that is the choice we will make later on. Pero for the longest time, si Sternberg yung ginagamit namin. Kaya lang, I must warn you, mabigat yung textbook na yon, no? Hindi yes. siya madaling basahin. Lalo na sa mga kabataan ngayon na mahilig sa mga maiising text, no? <laughs> oh. uh, Pero yes. Doc, so, uh, so, Doc, so uh, I must warn you especially for our students. Meron, uh, I think merong si Isaac ata, no? It, he has a student handbook on cognitive psychology. Um, I don't know where they can download it, but uh, we, I, I think I have a copy. We can share it uh, sa ating mga uh, teachers, no? Uh, mas uh, easy read siya kaysa kay Sternberg kasi si Sternberg medyo, yun nga, mabigat. And as right. intimidating as, you know, right. as you perceive the course to be. Si Isaac is a much easier read. Mm -hmm. Kaya lang siyempre, mas hindi siya comprehensive. No? Marami yeah, siyang okay. ino-overlook na bagay. No? Mm -hmm. Unlike si Sternberg, mas marami pinapasok. No? Kaya nga medyo complicated din yung, yung textbook uh -huh. ni Sternberg. So that is definitely an option, yung kay Isaac. Yes. No? Oo. Oo. So yan yung, ano, no? uh, yan yung aking mga tips. No? I think point. I'm now down to my last slide. Yes. Uh, which are discussion questions, no? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. uh, next slide, please. Ayan. Discussion questions. Okay. So what could have you done in the past? What other options do you see yourself entertaining given our current situation? Uh, uh, and what other learning exercises have you tried or are thinking of trying? Meron akong, uh, so while you're sharing these questions, meron ako ng mga nakikitang comments dito sa live comments natin. Yes. Uh, yes, how about those subjects that require laboratory hands-on activities? No? Mm -hmm. Ito mahirap talaga na ako today. So we will limit ourselves to online laboratories. No? Yes. So um, yung, pw pwede tayong uh, gumawa ng mga experiments na merong mm -hmm. mga reaction time. There are some apps that will allow us to do these kinds of measure measurements. No? Mm -hmm. Yung mga eye-hand coordination tasks, no? mm -hmm. yung mga multimedia tasks that you can actually play online. Mm -hmm. So, pwede, pwede yon. It's really just meant to help our students learn. No? It's mm -hmm. not really for the rigor of the science. No? Marami yeah. tayong compromises na kailangan gawin at this point no? in time. No? And Doc, pwede rin po uh, ba okay. na ang students so, can also ba? develop this course, uh, this this particular hands-on activities as a, as a mini project, as a mini group project, di ba? They can develop their own, uh, yeah. let's say, interactive activity online, no? Uh, that can also represent, yeah. let's say, a particular principle or a particular concept in cognitive psych. Yes, no. We are really forever students, no. Lifelong learning, <laughs> talaga. Lifelong learning, no. Mm -mm. Ayan. Okay. Tinitig ko pa yung mga ibang ibat ibang mga uh, comments dito. Kung meron pang mga ano. Uh, okay. So parang wala ako nakikita ng uh, questions dito. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to type in your uh, sharing. Yan. We encourage our um, audience, no? Baka, uh, sa first question ni uh, Doc Boboy, he asked about um, um, what were your best practices. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, no? What were your best yeah. practices uh, in the past uh, sa classroom, I assume, no? Or, or even when you uh, experience teaching it online, um, virtually, in cognitive psych as a course. You may share your inputs sa comments. And then, uh, what other options do you see yourself uh, entertaining given our current situation? Uh, definitely, marami na tayong ideas na draw from uh, what uh, Doc Boboy uh, has given us or shared with us. And um, yung creative juices natin ay kailangan natin uh, i-squeeze, uh, no? <laughs> and uh, try to think out of the box. Uh, we need to change our uh, paradigm in terms of uh, pedagogical um, strategies uh, given na very extensive at maraming, sabi nga ni Doc Buboy, uh, very rich 
ang uh, cognitive psychology. No? Marami siyang pwedeng uh, opportunities uh, for students to learn. Um, and it need not be intimidating given the textbook. Uh, hindi siya ganun dapat naka-heavy. No? Uh, it, it depends on how the teacher frames it. And the third discussion question, what other learning exercises have you tried or are thinking of trying? Yon. This is interesting. Baka yung ibang teachers natin may mga experience on this and uh, they can replicate it. Um, some teachers might have a good idea and replicate it uh, onto their school as well. Yan. Ayon. How about those subjects that require laboratory hands-on activity? Napag-usapan na natin yan kanina. Mm -hmm. Napag-usapan yes. na natin yan. Oo. Mm -hmm. Ang ganyan. All right. Sige. How, while we're waiting, I'll, I'll turn off muna the, the PowerPoint. Thank you, Doc Boboy. Maraming maraming salamat for again, no, um, telling us ano ba yung ating mga, what are the, what what are LMS available, what are some of the activities. I think maganda din yung mga, mga you know, um, for those who haven't watched our previous episodes, webisodes, mm -hmm. Um, it's a good refresher also what synchronous, what uh, asynchronous learning is. Si Suarez, mre. <laughs> yes, Sean. Ah, meron siyang um, comment, no? Uh, Monique? Yes. Um, best practice daw was for her to send the students the copy of the lessons beforehand, uh, which is very important. When the lesson proper comes, the student don't just stare at us while we're teaching a week before the real class day is enough. Yon. So uh, this tells us a lot about how we really need to prepare, diba? Um, which is uh, uh, a good thing that we're having this uh at this time, no, I ample time for teachers to prepare but come August or September. Mm -mm, mm -mm, correct. I think one of the things then, uh, Doc Boboy, na some some might might ano, if for example, ba wala silang mga yun nga, student support. Ah, uh, sorry, um, uh, institutional support. Um, what activities ba individually can they do? Siguro. Um, aside from what you've mentioned a while ago, how do you think can can faculty members engage uh, with other faculty members with their program chair, perhaps, to make learning a lot easier? Um, baka you can share your experience with Neo. Ano ba yung mga? How would were were there times that you needed to plan as a as a as a department as a group? Uh, mm -hmm. Baka meron po kayong gusto i-share. Alam mo, um, in, ano eh, what, 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 uh, our, uh, what our school has done was to organize teams of teachers who prepare for the conversion or redesigning of the courses into a online course. So uh, even if uh, I will be teaching a course, I may not be the one preparing for its redesigning. So that way, nakatuon yung effort mo on specific courses. So kunyari, ako kayong faculty members, pwedeng, tapos limang subjects yung kailangan yung ituro, so pwedeng tagalawa kayo no, na nagpe-prepare ng iba't ibang courses, tapos later on, share resources pag naplano na yung mga yun, no? So So that's definitely one way to, to work as a department or as a discipline if you are part of a group of other teachers no yeah. to divide the work so that uh you can help each other no oh 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 oh, oh. kasi minsan hindi rin natin masasabi na individual lang tayo as as teachers lang you also need to help other uh other teachers as well especially if medyo mas senior sila no in terms of converting their online um everybody is adjusting okay. not Oo, nahihirapan sila, oo, to, to make things online. Oo, nahihirapan sila, oo. That's correct. Kasi they might have the expertise in terms of doing this for the past how many years, but the delivery is now uh, modified, not a change. May modified delivery change din tayo na kailangan nating uh, to anticipate, no? Sige. I think meron tayo yes. kayo na yan. Uh, Definitely. 
I can do a collaborative input. Uh, maybe we can flash that. Oops. Okay. Sabi niya, for the situation now, uh, I guess I can do collaborative input parang hindi lahat po sila mag input ng kanilang mga natutunan. Pero dapat connected or mag-storage ang buong klase. No? I think important din talaga, I think I, I agree with uh, Doc Boboy no, na collaboration is important. But even collaboration now is uh, a bit challenging. No? Uh, kung dati nga yung physical, nahihirapan tayo yung mag-collaborate. Lalo na ngayon, paano natin sila? Uh, how do we now collaborate? So it's also goes, it also goes down to how we design our learning activities. How we design our lessons. They would also learn. But at the same time, how do they integrate this kind of learning as well? Yes. Yan. Okay. Sige. Sigur- Welcome back, Puni. <laughs> May tanong ako kay Doc Boboy kasi um, it's interesting when he said that there were just three very important yeah. uh, parang uh, pillars no of uh, uh, theories or constructs na kailangan natin i-include yung non-negotiables uh, kumbaga no um, and then you just are you trying to say po Doc Boboy na we're just going to insert or incorporate or embed uh, let's say for example into um, knowledge representation yung language, for example. So, parang you're hitting several concepts all at once. Ganun ba yung, yung what you're trying to uh, explain to us? Pwede. That could be one way of doing it. Definitely, that is one way of doing it. So, parang graduated, no? You do knowledge uh-huh. and knowledge representation. When you're talking about semantic and concept formation, you can talk about language now. No? Yeah, so, yeah, hindi yeah. ka sumusunod sa libro after after, no? Sinusundan Uh-oh. mo siya thematically. Pwede yon depende yun sa pag-design ninyo ng course ninyo. Mm-hmm. Kasi most teachers would have like yung comfort zone nila would be to follow yung book chapters. Kasi yun yung, well, for them, yung nakasanay Correct. ng organization. So, uh, there is a different way pala and uh, probably a more uh, an easier way for them uh, and mas concise, I guess, uh, for some teachers uh, to do it thematically rather than follow the book chapter. Lalong-lalo na kung gamay na gamay mo na yung topic. Pag baguhan ka sa topic, mahirap. <laughs> ah. Mahirap yung gawin. Oo. Ayan. Kailangan oh, ayan. Sa mga teachers natin, ha? Oh. Yeah. I think important, Monique, then, that we are Teka. talking about... Meron tayong comments dito, Ver? Yeah. Uh, eto ba yun? Sige. Okay. According to... <laughs> uh, to a Japanese person. <laughs> Some students are productive with self-paced modules. Others are bored learning by themselves. Individual differences, learning styles talaga. As a teacher, you have to be creative with various uh, learning activities. Yeah, and thank you, sir, for giving me these ideas now. Okay, great. It's true. It's yeah. true. Totoo yan, no? Totoo yan. Ibang student, iba-iba talaga ang pangangailangan. Pero certain situations kasi will require certain things to happen, no? And given the current situation, we really need to uh, encourage our students to be more self-motivated in terms of their le- own learning process, no? Mm-hmm. That's correct. Okay, I think that's all the time that we have. <laughs> <laughs> Doc Boboy, please don't go yet. No? Okay. Meron na mababasahin lang si, si Monique. Uh, again, <laughs> for our season two. Monique, baka yes. i-invite yung ating mga viewers for our uh, future webisode schedule uh, for this show. Sure. Okay, great. Um, because uh, this is our first webisode, uh, there will be more to come this season. Uh, season two. And next in line, we have, of course, uh, Dr. Uh, John Piachko, who will uh, talk to us about uh, how to virtually teach theories of personality. That will be on Friday, uh, 4 p.m. Uh, again, uh, this is July 10, Friday, 4 p.m. And then uh, on July 14, uh, Tuesday, is how to virtually teach assessment psychology. This is, of course, in partnership with our assessment 
Psychology Div Division of PAP with uh, Professor Kapai and Professor Morales. And the next day, which is July 15, uh, 2 to 4 p.m., uh, a Wednesday, how to virtually teach positive psychology, yay, by uh, Professor Neil Quintanar of uh, University of San Carlos, Cebu. And on the on the seventeenth, uh, two for two to four p.m., uh, how to virtually teach practicum in psychology. We have uh, Doctor uh, Mark Distor, uh, Professor Jay Yakat, and our very own lovely, lovely Doctor Verreyes. Uh, this is a panel. No, uh, of the panel discussion for this particular webisode. Uh, on July 20, we have uh, abnormal psychology. Um, this will be facilitated by Dr. Eric Reyes. Um, and then on July 23, we have experimental psychology by our dear friend, Professor Junix uh, de los Santos. And then on July 24, uh, how to virtually teach group dynamics uh, by our friend as well, Professor Rian Portugues. Your millennial psychologist, Ayan. And more, we have July 28, we have uh, social psychology uh, facilitated by Professor uh, Quinones and uh, Professor Dumaop uh, in partnership with our social psych uh, division of PAP. And the following day, which is July 29th, we have How to Virtually Teach Introduction to Psychology. Ito, uh, this is also uh, um, facilitated by uh, Professor um, Pat Datul Ramirez and Professor Ryan Tojeros of uh, uh, our dear partners in teaching psychology, SIG. And the last uh, and hopefully not the least, <laughs> how to virtually teach psychology the OBE way uh, by yours truly. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Doc Boboy, baka meron pang gustong i-plug, testing, movies, uh, <laughs> commercials, teleserye, baka meron pang... <laughs> Meron kang ano, yeah, Ang Psych Consult magkakaroon ng, ng, ng series uh, series ng uh, assessment seminars coming oh. uh, October, no? Oo. Yes. So, uh, yeah, just uh, watch out for our webinars, no? Oo. Mm -hmm. Oo. When can right. they where can they find the details, the boy? Uh, do you have a Facebook page or they can link themselves to Oh, also Psych Consult, oo. psychconsult.com.ph. Yes. Uh, uh, at saka sa face, yung Facebook page is Psyconsult Inc. Okay. Narinig nyo yan, ha? You can like okay. that too. Yes. Please do. Ayan. I-show natin ngayon, psyconsult.com.ph. Mm -hmm. Is this correct, uh, Doc Boboy? P-S-Y-C-H, consult, C-O-N-S-U-L-T, one word. Yes, okay. .com, yeah. .ph, yes. All right. So you can check their website uh, to see more about their uh, webinars uh, that will be available by October. Thank you, Doc Boboy. We hope to see you personally. Thank <laughs> yes. you very much. Thank you so much for oh, some very yeah. engaging um, Oh, oh I hope sooner than later. Oh, oh. Thank you. Thank you to uh, Ateneo Psychology Department, to Psych Consult as well. And, um, Thank you very much. We've been all right. Thank you, everyone. Good afternoon, and we'll see you again on Friday. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye.